Mr. Helps, I think the one you're working on there now is your latest children's book, which I believe is going to America, is that right? Yes, yes, yes. That's the latest. What was the first? How did it all start? It started in my school days, actually. Uh, a cousin of mine was ill, a cousin I was very fond of, and uh, I'm afraid I was doing the story in school. A master caught me at it, and uh, to my horror, he made me stand up in class and read it to the form. You can imagine the uh, laughter of the boys and my humiliation. That's how it began. But the, that was the writing, wasn't that it? That was the writing, yes. But I'd always drawn from my earliest memories I've been drawing. Why did you choose specifically to write for children? I think it's because uh, I started in that way writing for this cousin of mine and I, I seem to have a flair for it. And then I started with the uh, Bristol paper called The Evening World, now defunct. It's, uh, I think, for The Evening Post now. But uh, I started doing a, a strip for children in that, and it sort of grown from there. What age group do <clears throat> you aim for? Very young, very young age group, from four to about eight. I've noticed in your books that there's, there's no question of good or bad. Everybody is, is <coughs> happily living together. Do, do you do this purposely? Yes, yes, I do. I think there's too much in modern children's books of revenge and uh, getting one's own back, you know, that sort of thing. I think that's all wrong. And I don't think you can begin too early teaching children that sort of thing. Even my villains uh, usually end up uh, either reformed, you know, or... I don't think really well, you, you have a very fine grasp of the animal kingdom. Your animal <coughs> drawings are, I think, are very fine indeed. And you seem to have a, a knowledge of nature because your, your paintings always depict the seasons properly, the birds, the foliage, all seem to me to be right. Have you studied this? Um, not really as an expert, but I think children like to live in a small world. They're, they're much closer to the ground than we are and they see things in much more detail. We have to forget that, I think, as we get higher and higher off the ground. And therefore, I try and put myself in a small child's place near the ground, seeing the, the hair robbit and the, the grasses are much larger than we would. And that's really why I do that. But also, of course, uh, I do have a love of nature and small things.